in the next few weeks, I'll be 33. And when I look back at my last 15 years, I've done well with my life. But I also think there are some things I really might never be able to do anymore. Or, let me put it another way. There are some things that get difficult the older you get. And I'd like to share some of those things with you in this video. If you're between the ages of 15 and 40, this channel was created especially for you. So, don't forget to subscribe. Now, let me make something clear before I start this video. This video was not made to discourage the people who are in their 50s or something like that. While it's true that marathons are easier in your 20s, some people still do it in their 60s and sometimes the spirit inside a dog is more important than the age of the dog. So, in essence, we're making this video intending to get young people running right now because we believe that it's easier now even though it's still possible later. Having said that, let's go ahead with this video. Failure, failure, massive failures. About 11 years ago, I was reading Anthony Robbins' Awaken the Giant Within and at a point, Tony said something like, number one key to success in life is massive failures. In other words, to be successful, you have to be willing to try several things and yes, when you try several things, you'll have several failures. When I was in my 20s, I was the most careless soul in the world. I cared about nothing and I could dare anything. I tried more things than anyone I know and I failed more than anyone. I was only 20-something and it didn't matter that much because I had no family and no responsibility. Today, I probably would not try some of those things I did seven years ago. And that's why I want to tell you something very important if you're a teenager or in your 20s. What I want to tell you is what you already know and that is, here are your golden years. Now is the time your spirit is young and your body is strong. Now is the time you can fail a hundred times and still rise again. Now is the time you have the time to go through pains and difficulties without affecting anybody else. Unfortunately, what most people do with their 20s is to have a lot of fun, a lot of dates and a lot of parties, a lot of social media consumption and a lot of everything else that's interesting. See yourself as a marathon runner. You don't want to postpone it till you're 60. Another big misconception in our society is that some people seem to think they can avoid failures or pains. No, you can only postpone them. Your life will never be free of pains. And as Jim Ron said, you cannot decide to experience the pain of discipline or the pain of regrets. There's no way you can escape both. If you make difficult decisions when you're young, you'll have an easy life when you grow up. If you make easy decisions when you're young, you'll have a difficult life as you grow up. And it's that simple. Now that you're young, dare life, try things and fail as much as you can because it's easier now than later. Experiments to discover who you are. Each time I talk about purpose and why people must discover their potentials, I usually get the question, how can I discover my purpose or know my potential? And the simplest answer I've discovered is this. Experiment. I see the process of discovering your potential as I see the process of discovering your favorite food. Think about this for a moment. You only know your favorite meal because you have tasted many foods, right? Think about it from another angle. If since the day you've been born, you've been eating a single food, would you ever know your favorite meal? Similar things happen with most people. They have only done one or a few things with their lives so it's even difficult to know what gets them crazy. If you really want to discover your potentials and strengths in life, you'll need to experiment with many things. And the problem about that is when you're 40-something, you're not ready to mess around anymore. And that's why I advocate that you should experiment with as many things as you can while you're in your 20s. Do you feel like you have a passion for music? Register for a music class. Hang around others who seem to be interested in music. Do you think you love science or inventions? Read some books and meet some scientists. Stay in the laboratory for a few weeks and see how that goes. Do you think you like being a public speaker? Take a class and try to speak. Do you think you love entrepreneurship? Start a little business. Meet with others who talk and read about entrepreneurship. You get the point. Now that you're young, you can mess around and you should. What usually happens is that, like food, 
When you try many things, you get to a point where you experience some heavenly sensation. Somehow, you feel like you're out of this world doing certain things. And that is it. That's what you were born to do. But you might not discover such things if you do not try many things. And the best time to mess around trying different things is when you're young. Meaningful Socialization As I write the script for this video, I'm thinking about my wife and kid. It's early in the morning and I have not spent time with them this morning. I've not even seen them. Sometimes I wish to work till 8 p.m. and when I remember that I have a kid, I know that will be a wrong thing to do. Now, in my 30s, I have a company where there's always something to fix. A family that always needs me and a library that contains many new books. You get it, life has become busier and there are only a few hours left for socialization. This is unlikely when I was in my 20s, especially in my early 20s. There seem to be more hours in the day than now. And don't get me wrong, meaningful socialization is important and you should do it at any age. But let's be honest, you have more opportunities for it in your 20s than later in your life. And in fact, you need more meaningful socialization in your 20s than later in life because there are many things you're yet to figure out as a young person. When asked how he socializes, Mark Cuban said, and I quote, I have kids, so I don't do a lot of socialization this day. He can afford to say that because he has already figured out many things about his life. 40 years ago, he needed quality people as friends and he had to make time to be with such people. If there's anything we wish to achieve with this video, it's to challenge and encourage young people to run now that they are young. Fail now and fail much because it won't hurt as much as it would later. Experiment now. Try several things so you can discover what makes you high because it's easier now than later. Have great friends and spend time with them now because you need them right now than later. And if you're in your 40s or 50s, though we both know that all these are more difficult, we should also agree that the spirit inside a dog is more important than the age of a dog. If you like this video, watch other videos on our channel. We love you.